I I I had a few too many. Mm. I did not throw up though. Mm. But he threw down though on that <laughs> dance floor. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah I threw down some Uno cards. Damn, bro, is that funny? <laughs> From Mr. Broke Productions, in an association with Maximillionaire and Vice City Kingpin, present to you Life on Easy Mode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Are we recording? All right, you ready, Jun? Oh, oh, I thought we were recording. All right, three, two, what? No, I'm kidding. I am recording. Oh, wait, really? Yep. Oh, What's going oh. on, everyone? Welcome oh, back damn. to another episode was, of the looking. Life on Easy Mode podcast. <laughs> he was trying to... <laughs> Trolling 101 with the boys. How you yeah. doing, Jen? Wizard 101. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to get. Yeah. Yep. How am I doing? Yeah, how are you doing? How am I doing? Your nails are black, so probably not good. Yeah, they're, they're, well, they're oh, they're, they're darker, more grayish, beige color. You know. I'm sorry, what? Uh, there's three black. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. That, so, I, that did sound weird coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I, I get what you mean, though. Yes. What do you mean, <laughs> what do you what mean, mean by, by that? that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're back. Yeah. That's really it. I don't. I don't. Yep. I, I, just know uh, so I never know on, how to introduce this. All right. So we're on, we're on Amazon. We're on Amazon. We're on Apple, Google, Spotify. We're on, Bing, we're on, on Yahoo. Yahoo. Um, um, yeah, so see we only later. have three months left. To we're on OnlyFans. Right. We are now. Yes. See y'all later. We got some stuff to talk about. We do. I got no a story. What do we want to start with? We can. Uh, you could start. Let's, uh, let's start about Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you want to go there? Friday, Friday, because because I want to talk about this too. Oh, about okay. So we'll we'll do it from all perspectives, I guess. So Gian threw a complete rave at his house. We yeah. trashed the whole neighborhood. Sorry, light Tom. fireworks. We lit a house on fire. We just got completely messed we up. We partied with the swingers next yep, door. Exactly. We we invited them over. Yep, we swang. People who think we had that. a swing set, you know, that we built for them. Yeah. <clears throat> Side note, that is true. Apparently, Thomas told me that the neighbors, who uh, people who aren't watching, I've told these two, but uh, apparently our neighbors are swingers, which. You know, <laughs> more power to you. Do what you want, but these people have kids. Facts. That's when I have a problem. Apparently, That's Tom said they left them outside while things were happening inside. Also, so. disclaimer. They didn't even have the dignity to like let them go to like their grandparents. No, they have to go. Oh, no, I'm pretty the sure the parents. grandparents were there too. Yo, no. <laughs> no. Disclaimer: We did not invite the swingers over. We should have though. <laughs> <laughs> Speak oh. for yourself. <laughs> oh, all right. So okay. no. Okay, so maybe, Friday, maybe after I left, who knows? So Friday, we, Gian, you know, he had a few people over because his dad he, was out of town. He threw the raver of the century. Exactly. It Sorry, was Tom. Just complete uh, house was pandemonium, trashed. complete chaos. Pizza and on every inch I, of the house. Come so on. I, I guess the main attraction of what happened that night is the fact that I got so drunk that I actually puked. And uh, first. No, right. Tony puked before me. No, like a first for you. Oh, no, I puked before. Just oh, not from alcohol. Okay. No, uh, so then from alcohol. Yeah, first. so yeah, so at first. So the last time I ever puked besides Friday night was when I was 13 years old. I got like food poisoning. I like had something. I think it was like bad chicken noodle soup and I just puked my guts out that whole like day and I had to take a day out of school. And like I I, I made a vow to myself when I was 13 that I would never, <laughs> ever throw up again. No matter how sick I got, I'm going to hold it in no matter what. Damn. That all changed Friday night. Let me explain to y'all what I had. Can I explain? No. All right. I had four mics... Three seltzers and a whole like um, cup of just that pure bad. vodka. That still doesn't seem that bad. It though. wasn't pure vodka. You missed you mixed it with something else. Very little Mike's was left in that cup, and oh, I like bro, poured it. What, what were still... you thinking in that moment? Oh, I just kept. Going. And here's the thing. Here's the reason why I got so drunk. I was not slowing down. I just kept downing it, downing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that was a problem. It. And I was drinking throughout the whole night too. We started at like six or something, six thirty-seven, Seven. and I like until I like went to bed at like eleven thirty midnight is when I or twelve thirty is when I eventually stopped drinking. So, um. Now, for the most part, I'm always a fun drunk. I am just a person who just likes to, you know, be an idiot. Like, huh, that's funny. You know, I'm one of those kind of doohickeys. And, you know, that's how it was for the most part. Uh, I brought the girl that I was talking to there. Um, and we, you know, we had a good time. Um, it was like us and like eight other people. And it was a small gathering. Yeah, small gathering. Wait, no, we, we, nobody talked. It was the rager of the century. Shut the fuck exactly. Up. We, bro, it, it we, was, we did the craziest shit. We, we played cards. It was we eight. almost burnt down the forest. Facts. We chopped wood. Yep. We did chop and that, wood. And this is all technically true. Tom, we're not, we're Tom, not bullshit anymore. This is Tom true. Tom wants to know who Paul Bunyan was because he found I mean, yeah. Axe. I feel like wood. me, technically, because I chopped the most wood. Kenny couldn't get as much as I did. But someone well, someone was swinging an axe dangerously. 
not dangerously, but menacingly. Kenny. Definitely menacingly. Me- Kenny. De- definitely Kenny. menacingly. But we we had the Rager of the Century, you know? Not exactly. we didn't have eight people. We had eight hundred. Exactly. We had Radio Gaga by Queen on Facts. in the backyard. And we had the swingers. We doing had the their biggest thing. barn Harry fire Styles you ever came saw. Over. Biggest yep. barn fire you ever saw in the backyard. It was like Facts. a it was just like a. It was like an Indian ritual. It was, it was bigger beautiful. than the SOS simple uh, SOS uh, fires that they started in World War Two. Ooh. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, don't know. Um, I was brain dead when that joke yeah, was forming in was my like, head. <laughs> so, yeah. So no, I mean that was all true. We, we the reason why we try to <laughs> what? No, we try to turn on a fire because we try to make s'mores, but GM put like eight like trees of paper in the fire and it just wouldn't like stick to the wood it was because the wood was wet because yeah the wood was wet yeah yeah I because it, just, what, it, it, it rained beca- the day before yeah i think so i just became to collect the decision that the wood was just wet we still had s'mores you know just in in raw microwaved. form yeah, we, no I, I think some people microwave them oh true what, what was this i don't know like raw like just put the ingredients of a s'more yeah just and raw just raw like the graham cracker the marshmallow and then the chocolate it's a piece of hershey's yeah, yeah it's just like, a, like it's a sandwich that's basically it's a sandwich at that yeah. point. It's no, it's a, wouldn't that be a cookie at that point? No, you get the, the crackers cookie? and then you get the stuff in the middle. Put the cookie down. Cookie? I, you Put know, the cookie down. I've I've mentioned this before. I think you did. I could go a whole episode about this, but like, there's there's a there's a whole theory that every food can be categorized into three or four like like um like food groups or food types. Food types. So so anything can either be a sandwich. Yep. A soup mm-hmm. or a salad. I'm sorry. What about a steak? Just a steak. Yeah. That's that's, that's not a salad, so, so sandwich, or a soup. Yeah, man. I, I love no, my steak no. soup. Here's the thing. The, the food has to be like a combination of things. It can't just well, be... So no. you're talking about plates, not just food. So, well, so meals. 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 They can yeah. only be categorized in those three things. Yes. So then what would a steak, salad, and fries be? A salad? But those are three different things. But that's a meal. You can have you, if you go to Texas Roadhouse, you could order a steak this is with a Caesar salad, and you can get cheese fries. I know because that's what so, I order every so time. So then... The cheese fries would be a salad, the salad would be a salad, and then steak is just steak. Oh, so then... Oh, so there's a fourth category, yeah, so there's steak. there's a fourth category then, so... Cause the steak well, no, is but like, steak. The, the steak isn't... Your theory is already fucked over. No, well, you're... you're um, name anything that's not like a single thing. Like, name like something you have An to ice eat. cream bar. That's a sandwich. No, no that a, is actually a sandwich, yeah. A ice cream bar? Yeah, that's a sandwich. You're talking there's, about like the, the chocolate no. things on the outside and the ice cream in the middle, right? No, uh, ice cream bar. Like, the the the... the so not the sa- not the ice cream sandwiches because those are obviously sandwiches. Cause ice cream bar. Usually yeah, like, when people say ice cream a bar, popsicle, that's usually what a popsicle, about. a popsicle. Oh, you mean a popsicle? Yeah, an ice cream bar. That's what they're called. A popsicle. Ice cream bar. I, I get what you know. It's like the double one. Y- yeah. Kind of. I get what you're uh, talking about. Uh, a popsicle. Oh. I have no idea how you guys have never called them ice cream bars before. Never like, called them. I that don't. Before. When okay. I eat ice cream, I have like real ice cream, not popsicles. I don't well, like. no, but like. All right. I, no, no, no. I, I I get what you're saying, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like. At least people that I've been around, when we say ice cream bars, we mean like the sandwiches because they can be like a bar. Okay, too, technically. all right. Well, that's just what I like can recollect. There's definitely a lot more okay. people that have like better theories. I lollipop. Like I, I low-key do want to come back to this conversation. Lollipops. But can, can we? What, huh? What's a lollipop? See, the theory is no, fucked over. We the have, theory we is have not fucked holes over because the you're theories. naming things that only have one ingredient. So, you, so you're talking about meals, plates. Like not, no, like I'm talking about thing, food, a food item that has more than one ingredient. Okay, so you're talking about like a sandwich. So like steak, not. Let's see, rule pop has no, more No, 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 wait. I, I, no, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. So he's talking about like things. I'm not talking about candy. Candy. So, I'm talking about like actual food. He's talking about one item that has multiple things in it. Like for, for example, a burger, bread, meat. That's a sandwich. Lettuce, cheese. Well, yeah. I get what you're talking about now. Okay, so like a right. grilled cheese, that's a mm-hmm, sandwich. That's okay. A sandwich. You didn't clarify that at first. You yes. just said any food could be categorized in these three things. We're like, that makes no sense. But if you say I cereal is a soup, now. I'm gonna have to slap you. Cereal is a soup. No, it's a salad. No, it's a soup. It's a salad. Like <laughs> soup or salad. The milk's the dressing, you know. <laughs> the ranch, you know. But yes, yeah, cereal is a soup. Soup is hot, usually. Okay, but cereal what is, what is, is soup? Not. It's chicken broth. No. Well, most of the time. Well, it's a it's liquid. It's, 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 it's a liquid. It's a broth with like meat or like or what noodles. What a cereal? A liquid with meat and noodles? No, but like it's <laughs> technically a soup. <laughs> Who the fuck are you putting ramen noodles with milk in it? Like, money, dinner served. I mean, facts. But I mean, it's like, putting stir fry in his milk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's technically a soup. Your ramen noodles for three meals a day, <laughs> cereal, lunch, and dinner, well, and then little, dessert too. You guys have all bar. Let's think about it because like uh, cereal, right? Liquid, 
You got mm -hmm. a physical food in there, mm -hmm. and then it's at a certain room temperature, which, you know, soup mm -hmm. is hot, but then the cereal is cold. So, okay, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. I want to come back to this okay. because I want to finish the story about Friday night, mm -hmm. okay, but I do yeah, want to come sorry. back to this because this is low-key interesting me now. Interesting yeah. to There's me whole now. theories on YouTube, I think. I, I'm liking this. But anyway, so I don't even remember where we left off. But anyway, so we did all that stuff. We had fun. Um, eventually, he started the getting later on into rave. the night. Me and his friend, Tony, who... Shout out to him. He's in a rock band called Never Coming Home. Never Coming Home. Um, shout out to them. I'll, I'll leave a link on to Spotify and iTunes. Yeah, I'll leave a link to their band in the description. And he's a cool guy. We were drinking, and it was at one point it just came down to me, Gian, and Tony at the house because we, me and him were sleeping over. Gian was there because he was sleeping I over because he lives there. there. <laughs> and so <laughs> we were just sitting there talking, right? We were talking about life, and you know, we got to that point of the drunk where we were just talking about life, things about like friends, life, and we got to that part, and like eventually. He starts lying down on the couch, and, you know, he starts laying down, and I go into my room, and I forget what the timeline was like for the rest of that night, but I just remember, when, for those who haven't gotten drunk, when you are still drunk and you try to go to sleep, you get what's called the spins. Uh -huh. You try to lay down, everything's moving, you have to sit up, you cannot go to sleep. Oh, well, not for me. Well, how drunk have you gotten before? Like, pretty He has drunk? never gotten drunk. Though. No, yes, I have. And you didn't have the spins? You remember you took me home that one night? Did you go to yeah. sleep while you were still drunk? Mm -hmm. And you didn't have the spin? No, I did. Oh, but you fell okay. asleep. But like, I, f I could fall asleep. I didn't have to sit up. Bro, yeah. my shit was Well, see, bad. that's the same thing with me, though. I don't have to. You, you have a weird, weird. No, bro, my shit was bad. I like set up. I felt like I was getting like flung I on felt a like coaster. I, I felt like I was floating low key. No, bro. I felt I, like I, I, was, I, I, I like laid I on my I think that was the cocaine bro, that one time. I felt like used. I was on the zipper, bro. Like the one that ride on the feast. Mm -hmm. At the feast. I felt like I was on that. I felt like I was just getting flung all over the place in the air. So I had to keep sitting up. And then while this is happening, I think that's when I start hearing Tony in the other you know, living room. And then Gianni has the bucket for him there and stuff. And I think that's when he texts me, yeah, I'm going to be watching over Tony because he's definitely in a worse shape than you. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm trying to doze off. And like, I can feel myself getting queasy, but I can feel myself dozing off and still spinning. I'm like, oh, whatever. I wake up. And <laughs> you ever seen... You ever seen when Napoleon Bonaparte overthrew the French government and became leader? That's what my puke did to me, bro. I felt an upheaval in my system. And I just went, huh? <laughs> I hear Gian. Boom, 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 boom. Dash a, a man has fallen the, to the Lego City River. You can build the Lego bucket. Lego we, he, he puts the bucket on the side. I'm over there. You know, puking. And I have to remember this, but he said to me that like at one point I said I looked at him and Gian ran in with like a flashlight, like a fucking police officer instead of just turning on the light. The FBI. Only, only source of light was his flashlight. But you That's, don't. The, well, the just because you were you, because you were still puking, you don't. And especially when you're drunk, you don't no, want no, all I, I light. That, like, like I wasn't looking at the face. light. I was looking at the bucket yeah. in my puke. And apparently, I looked up at you and I was like, I got something in my eye, and I started laughing. Yeah, and he started he dying it laughing. Off God bless, bless you. you. <sighs> yeah, okay. now we're fucking even. What? N now we're even. <laughs> Next thing is you. No. We're getting, oh, watching we him? need to get you that drunk. No, come on, come I on. Honestly, I, I, do I, I don't recommend it. it. Do I do not want to throw up. Why? Well, I, I, you when was the last time you puked? When I got food poisoning from Applebee's. Oh damn! Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah. I just hate the feeling of gagging and like things yeah. coming up, and it's like the taste, the smell. Mm -hmm. It's like, ugh, it doesn't feel good. Yeah. Sorry if this is gross, but um, viewer discretion no, so, like, advised. I felt like complete shit, but as I was puking, Gian's like talking to me, you know, as I'm puking. At one point, I say to him, I go, huh, I feel better. And I started laughing. And then I went right back to sleep afterwards. And then that's when he went to attend to Tony. Who, and I know, kept checking on you. Yep, you kept checking. At one point, you woke me up because after that, I remember oh, like, well, I'm so sorry. Well, I remember hearing someone walk in and I just saw like a bright light and I thought it was like the cops because I was dozing off and I was like, Ooh. this man thought it was the cops. And because you scared the hell out of me. Next thing I know, I just see the shadowy Bro, figure at the, the end of the door with, with with the flashlight. I'm like, what the fuck? Why would the cops come? I don't know. I was asleep <laughs> or trying to sleep and you woke me up because I hear, boom, boom. <laughs> FBI, <laughs> open up. I, I just said see that. this bright I light. That. So that was fun and I woke up. That was not Saturday. fun taking care of you, but yeah, sure. I, it wasn't that long. It was a few hey, minutes. Hey, man. I didn't go to bed till like 2 33 o'clock oh so now you know how it was dealing with you that one night when you got drunk so yeah you're yeah. right we're even we're even we're not even well you two got it. your feud go do whatever you want what do you mean we're not even we're not even you know what exactly what night i'm talking about mm, main no oh this was another oh yeah. yeah we don't have to talk about that yeah, one yeah we can <laughs> no we don't we can talk about <laughs> that's it. that's personal and then saturday i just basically had a hangover all day and i stayed yeah. in and played call of duty on the ds like you do when you're drunk or hungover so and it was a good time and yeah music. i felt better by the evening because he advised me to have some greasy food so i got taco bell because that's what i do best and tons of water yeah i had water i had gatorade good and 
Uh, yeah, it was a good, it, it, it was a good weekend. I, you, I think it was worth you it. You know what's funny? Because I was, I was a little bit like drunk the night before. Oh yeah. yeah what did you do the night before? Uh, I saw Thursday the night. So so shout out to Stay Silent PVD. They're like the this um. They stay silent. Yeah, they stay quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, How'd you hear about them? The <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. You know, <laughs> whispers. <laughs> whispers in the air. Uh, whispers. But um, Joe they Collins they throw the events. Tonight. They they're responsible for Daytro in Providence, and mm. they they throw like these events for, with like DJs and like drinks and um mm. like little um. Um, like things to do in, in their club, and um, mm. uh, we, me and Caitlin went to this one called Photosynthesis, mm. and it's just like like uh, R and B music. Um, mm-hmm. There's Uno, and he's not taking me seriously. <laughs> yeah, he's but, going, um, mm, mm-hmm. That's how he does photosynthesis. Mm. You know, that's how he photosynthesizes. But mm. watch him photosynthesize some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bro, sorry. Damn. Please continue. I, I, I'm actually listening. So, because I'm just wondering how the DJ DJed at a silent club. But well, go, that's the name of the King. company. But oh, okay. But go off, but, King. But um, yeah, you know, I I, I had a few too many. Mm. I did not throw up though. Mm. But he threw down though on that <laughs> dance floor. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah threw down some Uno cards. Damn, bro, is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> he just me and Emma just oh you just see me. It's just ready. <laughs> <laughs> that plus I was just thinking about Mikhail just breaking it down in the middle of the dance floor, fucking bungee in style. The background. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like on the floor rolling oh, and shit. That like was like those um <sighs> break dancing. Yeah, break dancing. Break I, I can't think of the word. Yeah, that sounds fun though. So you got like actually drunk that night though, right? Yes. Yeah, I saw the snaps of you hanging out the window. Did you have like any hangover or no? Oh, that was fine. Have you ever had like an official hangover? So like thing. like headache, you don't want to do anything. You your 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 mouth is That's dry. That's the thing, cause like you, you just. I don't remember, cause I've only been, from what I. The wor- the worst one was when you took me home. Okay, yeah. And I, I don't I don't remember the how worst I, one I've seen you at least. Yeah, no, that's the worst one. Period. Okay. But um, I don't know how I don't remember how I felt the the day after low key. So, Ooh, I, I can't I'm say. Sorry. Getting crunked up before the. Rave of the century. Yep. Yeah. How dare you, bro? Got to save some yeah. for us. Yeah, you save some. Good for you, though. Um, save some room for us. So, because you guys want to talk about this as well. What was it like Friday night from your perspective as well? Mm. Like You want to go first or me? Mm. Damn, was it that bad? All right, I'll go first. <laughs> so, so um, you know, I get there early because I was taking Kenny with me. And, and first thing we do, mm. take a tour. Because when... <laughs> what the fuck is... <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> Man, had a system okay? reboot. What's going on? Continue. No. <laughs> what? No, what were you laughing at? What's so funny? Just I don't even know. Share with the class. <laughs> All right, Captain. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, my te- tears are actually coming down. Oh, Captain, my what captain. Happened? What happened? Yeah, he's having a Nicky moment. He's laughing so, at nothing. So, <laughs> I just... I'm just thinking of just doing the mm, and then I turn away also, but then I hear this dude just go mm. Oh, you heard <laughs> of it? <laughs> I thought you were mm. gonna join in, but you turned away. The past. <laughs> no, I was fucking crying because I was thinking of just doing the. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but then I did it for you because you were mm. you, know, you were on leave of absence I apparently over there. Mm. Oh my god. Anyway, okay, let's let's try to listen. Oh to my it. god. Right. You take a tour. Yes, we take. What a the tour. hell does that mean? Oh you know, yeah, because he was never. I've never, never been, been to a new house uh, before. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, you know, you meant like you're walking around the neighborhood. Yeah, it's a it's a nice house. Yeah, realistically, you know, the backyard's nice. The house is nice. Tom's car is nice. Damn, you checking out his car, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the Les Brew. Yeah, I almost drove it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, no, he would. No, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. Or am I? Joke. Joke. Joke, Tom. Um, Dad. You know, it, it, it was fun. We just got there, started playing music, um, started vibing, started trying out the seltzers, and then the pizza came, which was pretty good. I really liked it. It was a good pizza. Yeah, but can we also talk about Sonic? Yes, I was getting oh, into okay, that. Oh, okay, right. So, so... Because the seltzers, that, I think that was like oh, my yeah. main thing of the night. What, what did we have? We had the Sonic seltzers. Mike's. Mike's. I mean, Mike's Ciroc seltzer. Ciroc. And, yeah, Ciroc seltzers. Caitlin didn't like them. I really liked them. I really th- liked them too. Yeah, wait, you had yeah. one though, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I really liked them. I really liked them. But um, regardless, Sonic, the the, the, rest, old the fast ground. food restaurant, my Sonic has seltzers ground. now. And it's ass. No, they weren't that bad. Mm-hmm. The ocean water one was kind of like even the orange out, pineapple that I had was it, it's basically if they try to make a slushy did, into a seltzer. Did you try all of them? 
No. Did as I just... stopped after the orange pineapple. Because uh, then someone told me. The watermelon one was good, actually. Cause yeah. the, oh, the I, watermelon one was good? All right. Yeah, I did like the watermelon. Sorry, me and Miguel probably drank all of them. No, I, I only had one. Well, no, I only had one, and they were all gone. <laughs> I so, had one watermelon. And there was 12 of them, so. Sorry, I had like three. Are you sure you had? I think you had more than you think you did, too. No. But, but. Or maybe I had four seltzers and three mics. It was definitely around seven. Maybe eight? I don't no, know. I, I was down on them shits. Accurate. I was down on them shits. I'm sorry. You sorry, Mom, if you're watching. Sorry, Sherry. Yeah, Sherry. I already told her I puked, and she was dying. I already told her. She thought it was Damn. funny. She goes, just please, don't do that again. I'm like, no. <laughs> no promises, Mom. <laughs> no promises. No, no promises. Promises, indeed. I'm not throwing up again. Mm. Now I'm swearing on my life I will never puke for the rest of my life. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. I, I didn't puke when I got food poisoning two weeks ago. Mm. <laughs> and then Gian, how about you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to tell this from my POV, right? Oh, boy. So I'm taking care of Tony, and he's throwing up in upstairs. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. And so everything's uh, – he's actually doing really well for puking. He's not puking mm-hmm. a lot. He's not puking up, like, food because he didn't have any food because he has a gluten allergy. So there was no, like, orangeness of food, mm. which, thank God – I'm listening. Mm. <laughs> EA Sports. <laughs> mm. Did you look at my microwave when I went, mm, because, mm. <laughs> So anyways, in, in Nikki's room. So, no, so Nikki is sleeping in Cameron's room, my brother's room. I slept in the baby chair. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so, I'm taking care of Tony. He's not peeking a lot. All I hear. Ready? All I hear, all, all, this is exactly what I heard. I hear... <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I hear, I hear, and I go, what the fuck? It's like I, gargling on my shit. Tony, Tony is like, uh, how, like over the he goes, better check on Nikki. And I go, you're right at it. And so I go walking, stopping like a police officer, the man that fallen into the Lego City River. And so I open the door and I say, Nikki, you all right? He turns to me. He goes, uh, I think I puked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, then I go, hold that thought. I'm going to go grab a bucket. So I go grab a bucket. I go, just make sure you're on your side. I go, put the bucket, and he's, I just see a little bit on the bedside. I did clean it up, but yeah, I it, wasn't a lot. Lot. it wasn't a lot surprising. You had a few pieces of pizza. It was only like, I don't know. Just, it was only like very little. Very little, which, uh, thank God. So, uh, but I put the bucket down. You puked in the, the little thingy. And so, and he was like, oh, thank you. And I go, Nikki, are you right? Straightest face ever. He goes, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm alright And he goes I, I go, Are you good? He goes Yeah I just threw up And I go Oh okay Alright And he goes I think I caught it in my eye a little bit <laughs> I go I he started go, laughing too And he goes And he, and he goes You got it in eye He goes Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is that your imitation of my life? <laughs> <laughs> no it's Kyle It's Kyle I'm so sorry We all know I'm a seagull bro You can't do anything else but that I don't know how that. to do it I don't know it, Your Your laugh is just like it's unique. It's unique, and like no one else can like impersonate Thank it. Thank you. So that that was so funny. Anyways, and then shortly after that, I passed out. Yes, and then I Ozzy, I checked in on you, but that shit was I don't know why. It was funny. All I just hear is just, just this is coming. I've never like had the in, uh, interaction with Nikki puking, but so like just hearing Nikki just go, <laughs> I know, it just killed me. <laughs> I think. I, we we were like scared, like oh shit. No, I was I, no, I was more surprised than anything. Oh, what the fuck is that? this dude was fine a few minutes ago. Like, I was seriously. like, I didn't even feel queasy. Well, I mean, yeah. I get because like, you were actually like, helping me take care of Tony. I was like, oh, this dude, Nikki, I have nothing to worry about with Nikki. Nikki, Nikki could sleep out on the freaking roof if all yeah, I cared. Thing about me when I'm drunk, I remember everything. I haven't, at least I haven't gotten blackout drunk yet, which hopefully I never do. But you know, I I remember yeah, everything. I remember don't. everything of that night. But yeah, I, I and be honest, was that probably the most Nikki way to get? To puke, I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm fine." I think no, I got though, and then you laughing afterwards, yeah. really fucking. Because I felt better, I didn't feel like shit yeah. anymore. But that, but I could actually breathe again. Yeah, so that was my. Uh, and then I obviously stayed up for a little bit for Tony, but like I, I went downstairs. I kept going upstairs. I didn't go to bed till like two thirty three just to make sure that he was okay. And then he passed out, and then you were obviously passed. So I checked on you too, and you guys were passed out. So, and I went back to bed, and you know, the rest mm. is history. Yeah, sounds like a good time. Mm. 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 So yeah, kids. Don't drink unless you got a man and a bucket. Mm-hmm. And you're 21. Yes. Yay. Yeah, because we were all 21. Speaking of, mm, you wanted to talk about indie horror games, right? Mm. So with that topic, let's talk about the whole foods category things again. Yes. So let's get back Next. to that. So the scary thing about this is... <laughs> 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 name, a, name a food. Pizza. Mm. That's a Pe- pie. Mm. It's a sandwich. How? Uh, what? Wait, no. Yeah, aha! Uh-huh. We fooled him. No, hold on, hold on. If you fold two pieces together. It's not a salad and it's not a soup. 
It's not a fucking sandwich. It technically is a sandwich. How? Because you're putting like tomato sauce between the dough and the cheese. I it, thought a sandwich usually has to be pieces of bread and then in between those pieces of bread. Or, or it could be like an ingredient between two ingredients. Mm-mm. So, or or I'm wrong, and then that's where the fourth category comes in. Because I'm not. Then what's the fourth category? I don't know. Pizza? I just know. I just know the big three. Can't show four some love. What about tacos then? Sandwich probably. Sandwich. I, I could see. I could see that as a sandwich. So then I, would a hot dog be a sandwich then? Yes. Because we had this discussion that's, at my work. That's right? also one of the the debates that the hot dog is the fourth category too. What? No, that would be a sandwich. No, I, no, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying people argue that it's its own category too. What would the category be called? Wiener? Just like hot dog. What? Just, just hot. Yeah. Really? So it'd be in its own category by itself. So then a taco would be considered a hot dog then? Yes. It, if if people no, consider a hot, it. A hot dog is a hot dog. And there no, is no if, such thing as a taco pe- being a hot dog. No, if people consider a hot dog as the fourth category, then a taco is a hot dog. No, but a hot dog but is it, a hot, like a wiener hot dog. There no. is nothing else that is a hot dog. Actually, wait. If you but like think a about hot it, dog and a taco are the, like. The, the bread of the hot dog. So then a hot dog and a taco would only carry those categories. But I mean, if you think about it, right, you have the tortilla. Mm-hmm. No, but And then you have the bread. Hold on, wait, let, let me. The meat and the meat, the wiener, and then the taco meat. If you put relish on the hot dog, I think put lettuce in the taco. I mean, you don't really put cheese on a hot dog, you put cheese in the taco. But a hot dog is called a hot dog. Dog. Like they're okay, so the other way around, it's it's a hot dog would be a taco. Actually, I think that would make more sense. A hot dog is technically a taco. That kind of makes more sense. Because that makes more sense. A taco, like I feel like it's a little more subjective than direct because well, I not subjective. It's, it's it's not. It's a little more broad, mm-hmm. I guess, because like taco could be hard or soft. You can mm-hmm. make a taco out of like, well, I mean, I guess it's mainly just like chips or t- tortillas. But I would still say that like a hot dog would be more sense if you call that a taco rather than a taco a hot dog. Okay, that makes more sense. Because so, I feel like a taco could be could be a meaning of like multiple kinds of foods, whereas a hot dog okay. is just a hot dog. So I guess that makes more sense. All right, so it has so it can't just be like a piece of cheese. It has to literally be like it has to equal something. Like, like it has to be food has to equal something. Yes. Like, okay. It has to be more than one thing. An yes. Ingredient, I guess we could say. So then, like with the pizza, you have the dough, the sauce, the, the cheese, cheese, and you know, put anything else after that as well. Chocolate chip cookie. That's a food, and that's many ingredients. Has the dough, has the sugar, sh- chocolate. chocolate chips, cookies in general, and there's different cookies. <laughs> Miguel's going. Hmm. There are five now, <laughs> but well, there but there are different types of cookies too. They there's sandwich round, cookies. There's slivers. There is ice cream sandwich cookies, but I'm talking about cookies. No, no I'm talking about actual sa- like Oreos that could be considered. Oh like well, a yeah, that, I can see it as a sandwich. Oreos I can see it as a sandwich, but I'm talking about like that's crazy, like cookies, like Christmas cookies, like all those different mm. kinds of cookies, egg biscuits. What would those be? Mm. Mm. I could I, I'm actually, actually going. I could actually. You, I really want to get some now. <laughs> you son of a bitch. What about well, cake? I, that's the thing. I don't know. So I'm maybe just, maybe I, would the fourth category be desserts? No, because like no? a lot of these, a lot of people that do these videos just name the big three that I told you. Does Nick Avocado do this? Is this where you're getting this no. from? Do well, I? He's have actually to... low key missing. He hasn't uploaded in like a few weeks. Well, no, he was on TikTok. Was he? Yeah, because he was visiting. I guess. I actually just saw him to the real. I saw him today, but like he, he was, I guess this dentist has a TikTok, and the dentist's son didn't believe the dentist that his patient was Nick Avocado. That's so crazy. the dentist was like, so the dentist said, "If Nick Avocado after an appointment, go like, oh yeah, uh, something, John, you didn't believe me that your dad was my dentist, but here, here I am." So That's crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, getting um, back. To, so, so the main categories were the salad, soup, and sandwich. 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 So the S's, because like I feel like there's got there's, there's, there's got to be a break wall too, because like so pizza, would we consider that a sandwich really? It's definitely uh, not a soup or a salad. Okay, so now. it's called the salad theory, and it says a pizza would can be would be considered a, a salad. May I uh, ask how? How? All right. There is Dude, no. Go. Why don't you go ahead and just read what that says? Well, it's a debate. Right. I I, I just want to hear their argument. Yeah. I'm because I'd be, I could live with a then pizza being considered. Be? I, no, I could live with the pizza being considered okay. a sandwich. So a salad, though, because you could fold this. So fold considered it. definitions and restrictions. Yeah, let me it's hear either this. a salad must be a mixture of greens, which is the traditional consideration, or a salad must be a mixture of foods such that a typical person would not notice a difference if the relative position and orientations of its ingredients were randomized. I don't think whoever made this theory knows what those big words mean. <laughs> a salad may not contain bread. So then, it wouldn't be a pizza. 
Well, these are different like debates. Like these are. This are so, so there is no one solid theory. There's no one solid theory. Right, because oh, they're the just fuck? theories, Jesus game theories. Christ. There's just different theories of like the actual definition and, and shit like that. And there's only three categories still. This is the most. I, no. Why this, don't we just stick to the nine food groups, people? Jesus Christ! Like, a salad must be a mixture of foods such that a typical would not. Okay, that's just the thing I just read. So I. There's definitely got to be more than three because there's more stuff than sandwiches, soups, and salads because cookies too. Because st- like a, all right, how about a stuffed potato, or a baked potato where you have like the potato, sweet potato, that you have like the marshmallows in it. That'd be a, technically a taco. Mm, I guess. But then what is a taco on? And now that would be a sandwich. Three? That would be a sandwich. That would be a sandwich. That, yeah, because you're squishing two things together. I'm putting but something like, in, the, in between. If the yeah. sweet potato is cut open and then you're putting something in the but middle. But then you're calling a hot dog a sandwich too. That's basically the same thing. Well, what theory are we using? Are we using the soup salad? Bro, I don't know what the fuck we're using the theory. Or the but soup <laughs> salad, sandwich, and taco theory. I'm under the theory that there's more than soup salad and sandwiches. There's got to be at least a fourth one. I do agree there's got to be at least a fourth one. There's, there's no way it's just those three because a taco is definitely not a salad or a soup. And I think it's a little different than a sandwich just because the way it's laid out. But it could... It definitely can be considered as a sandwich. It could be, at least better than a salad or a mm-hmm. soup. Whoever said pizza is a salad, you know. Got news for you, buddy. Jumping off a bridge is not the worst idea. But see, but see, here's the thing. With a, at least how we look at it. Actually, no, I guess because when you look at a sandwich, you think of it as layers, right? You get the bread, the bottom bread, the meat, the lettuce, the cheese, the sauce, what, other top of bread, whatever. Whereas with a pizza, you think, you think of it as toppings, not so much layers. Yeah. But I guess it could be considered a sandwich then because it is one thing on top of another, I guess, I so... <sighs> I'm just fine with saying that there's more than three categories besides yeah. soup, salad, and sandwiches. I'm still just doing the traditional nine. The, here, here's a guy that says ravioli is the fourth one. I don't understand. What does he say? Ravioli? Like ravioli. ravioli. He, doesn't, he doesn't like like cheese. The like the like ravioli, ravioli. He doesn't make any sense, Oli. Like, I don't agree with that, that one. Yeah, that's think. that's dumb. Oh. Th- Oh, well, I was gonna say like pasta, but that that could probably be argued like it's a salad. That's a salad. Yeah, because like you said, because if like American chop suey, for example, spaghetti and meatballs, that could be considered a salad. Well, no, you said a salad at least in that debate is that has to have greens in it. Wait, sorry, I was reading. No, <laughs> you said that for one of the debates, it said that a salad had to have greens in it. Well, that was one guy. One arguing. guy. Okay. Uh, I think if you want to get more broad, I'd say no. But usually, when we think of a salad, realistically, it is green. It is vegetables. There's fruit, maybe it's healthy stuff, so I don't know. This is confusing. This is confusing. This is harder than But I'm job, getting but hungry and this is upsetting. Nachos me. are technically a salad. I could see that. Yep. That makes that sense. Makes sense. What yeah, what? I wonder what chicken salad's gonna be. What about waffles? <laughs> that's what syrup be, butter, um, sugar, spice and everything. That's the is. thing. That's what that's what throws me off. Because what would that be? Right, exactly. Like, see, that's so why I'm is the fourth the, category miscellaneous? Dessert. Are they just lazy? With it? Well, no like, dessert, like because that could be a dessert. Well, dessert could have different layouts. It so, could be uh, dessert sweet. That's basically yeah, but what it, could be, it could be. It could be cookies. Sweet. It could be what, ice cream. What about it could be cake. what about toast? The fourth. Because think about it. That's just fucking bread, bro. <laughs> no, but like think about it. Like toast is what? What do you consider toast? Bread. Like bread burnt. with like a topping on it or like a spread on it. Yeah. So yeah. technically, a waffle with syrup on it is technically something with a spread on it. But would that be considered a sandwich then? I no, so. no, unless you like, put it there's together on top of it. Right. So is that the fourth or at this point now fifth category? It's a fifth. spread, sandwich, soup, salad, spread. Boom. There's I the wanna, four. I want right to talk there. to the person who made this theory, and like th- this is like probably one of those people that you know, l- like some like a flat earther, like just fully believes in this. Like there's there's no other, th- like they're right. Like everyone else is wrong. Man probably so, wears, man I, probably wears I, a fedora. I do, I do think there's some categories missing. Yeah, there's definitely. I, I will agree with yeah. that. I just like the original nine food groups. You know, that shit's easy. If we keep going about this, we'll probably end up having nine different categories. Well, I think so. You know, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. Because, like, spinach. Jesus. <laughs> That's a salad. I guess to ravish your hunger to combat it, you wanted to talk about yes. indie horrors. Yes. You I know King? To... Go crazy. I wanted to talk about indie horror games and how they are better than, like... Major corporations. Major, like, franchised horror games. Like, for instance, I love Resident Evil 8 and 7. I think those are fantastic horror games, but I think that indie horror games are so much better than those games. I can agree. And that is because with indie horror games, like, so I, this recently became a discussion because I recently downloaded this game called, horror game called Madison. It's basically an indie horror game. It basically has, you know, the same 
type of vibe. Like I used to play this game called Visage. Um, if that's also another horror game. Um, but it's basically built around the idea of like you're wandering in a house, the house changes constantly, you're going through these different types of things, and you're trying to figure out what the story is. Mm -hmm. That's also why I like indie horror games, because their stories are never flat out set in stone. Like in any video game franchise, you it, it the story is clear, whereas indie horror games, you have to either like find pieces of notes, or you have to have your theories like Five Nights at Freddy's for example one of the biggest like indie horror lords like ever like that shit still coming together and like would that even be considered indie still because that's such a massive like product now I, I mean, mean it, it started it's, as an indie it's definitely it, it's one man made it maybe with the help yeah. of like a few other things so but, yeah, I guess you could still call it indie. so I just wanted because we were actually playing it and like at first like it was more puzzly and like you we were like oh this isn't that scary and then we got our fucking asses ripped out by like a <laughs> bare titted fucking witch that, yeah, that <laughs> shit went down. Yo, I was like, oh, let me see, let me see if this is this way. Flashes the freaking camera, and she's just standing there. We're like, ah, mm. and then like she jumped at us, and her tits were sagging to their her ankles. Yeah, but like the way the way it scared us because we were in like this maze, and we started walking. Yeah. and we just turn around, and she just takes a photo, and you know, gives us all a heart attack. Yeah, because she just so appears sorry. out of nowhere. Um, and then after that, it kind of just started getting annoying. Because yeah, because this dude kept killing me. Yeah, but I know what to do now. I know what, I know what to do oh, now. You looked up a tutorial? Well, no, I was watching Critical Play and like what he did. So apparently, there's actually three candles. There's a yellow candle in 2022 I have to grab. Um, but you have to do red and I forget which one's opposite of that. I think it's red and blue green you have to do that in 1987 and then blue and yellow in 1951 i think i'm sorry miguel just brought what? kind of brought this back for a second so i guess he wasn't listening oh. i wasn't listening okay of course mm. he wasn't. that's okay. uh, something about you dying and um you know what to do anyways the little interjection here i found this this image right ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right scared of theories i guess God, this is math. This is so terrifying. The cubic rule of food identification. Salad, toast, sandwich, sushi, cake, calzone, quiche, and taco. I, I will argue that this is the best. Cake? No, like the best. So um, that's a fucking nine food group shit. That's like fucking. Well, there's only eight. eight. Well, we're missing one. But I will argue that this is probably the best representation of the soup salad th sandwich theory. Mm. Damn, you know what's crazy? Just add one of them, and it's the nine food group. Like, so I just don't get it. Like, dude, you're making it hard for yourself. Back to the horror. So you said, they're not going to know what this means, the people who haven't played Madison. The candles no. in 2022. No, oh, no, they're I not. Mean, if you play or if you watch videos, you'll get it. Basically, yeah. you can go back in time and but shit. I have to put, like, the certain candles. I have to watch exactly what he does, because the puzzling is really good. Like, I like puzzles. I like challenges in, like, games. So, but then it gets tedious when something's trying to chase you and fucking doesn't give you any direction of where the hell it's going and then just freaking kills you. So, but I just wanted to bring that up because I was actually really interested in this hard game and I realized and I noticed, like, I like playing, like, obviously I like playing video games, but I'm more of, like, if it's a good, like, indie horror game, I'll get it. And I like those a lot better because the story is more interesting than, like, Resident Evil. No one's caring. I could be talking about my cock. No, I'm, right I'm, listening. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. I can multitask. Okay. I'm listening. You're talking about how Resident Evil could do whatever the hell they okay. want. Did you happen to see the um, Resident Evil live action adaptation? He start, he, he talked about SpongeBob. Oh. What? Oh, no. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. No. <laughs> That's what it was like. That wasn't what I was getting at, but I went along with it. And the I saw like a clip from the Resident Evil like apparently it's trash thing. Yeah, really? apparently at one point he was like I mean, one of the guys was like I love SpongeBob. Bro, there is apparently a scene at the end, and Critical was to talking about this. She it's supposed to be like a twist moment. Spoilers. I'm so sorry. It's supposed to be a twist moment, but at the end, this doctor starts breakdancing to Dua Lipa. Or something like that, and oh starts dancing. God. I don't know what the context is behind it, but for a Resident Evil show, that shouldn't even exist, for one. They need so, to come up with new rules. Like, and that's another thing. I don't think video games should be adapted into movies and TV shows, including even not limited to The Last of Us, which is premiere on HBO Max. As much as I love that game, I don't it, think it needs to be remade into a TV show. So you're saying Lego Star Wars shouldn't have been a live action? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> kind of got you there, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Roasted. Anyways, I don't think video games should be uh, adapted because there hasn't... I'm trying to think of a successful 
I'm trying to think of a video game ad- adaptation of a video game from Ninjago? movie. Ninjago? No, Ninjago came was a TV show first. But what was it before? Oh, Legos. Mic drop. All right. Soup salad. I'm confused. What? It, they're, no, they're basing Legos. They're basing a toy off of a TV show. I'm talking about video games. video games. Talking about video games. Oh well, I, like I, that's I fine. I did something there. Like, they, well, I mean, I guess Legos. Are, yeah, okay, no, you're right. You're right. Okay, fine, so sorry. video games, like Sonic. Yeah, I guess that's probably the only like. Sonic one. has some good TV shows. Oh no, I'm talking about the recent movies. Like those are probably oh, like the, well, mo- yeah, the more true. like the more like even though those movies aren't like a hundred percent like amazing. Like there has not bad. There hasn't been a video game that has been adapted into a movie or TV show that I have said that is better than the original. Now people are saying The Last of Us is going to be literally the exact same thing as the is the video game. So, if, but I don't know why they're doing that. And I think don't think that's. I'll still watch it, but right. um, <sighs> but like as a Last of Us fan, like I don't see the reason of why they're remaking it like if they were to do like between the first two games that would be great they're just remaking the entire first game into a tv show which i'm like maybe that, they will do in between the first that's what two i'm games. saying so maybe that it's going to continue into the middle so like I, I would be interested in that but like back to like indie horror games like i just think that indie horror games are so much better if the good ones that are done right but then there is the other side, and we've all—I mean, I've—I would think that we've all seen the uh, YouTubers play terrible, terrible indie horror games, and I would like to actually do that. Just get a free in bad indie horror game and play it, and just see how ridiculous it is with all of us. Like that would be kind of. When funny. you say bad, do you mean like mediocre? Or do you mean oh no, like glitchy? Like, like... like it was supposed to be. It took itself too seriously, and it's oh. just so bad. So. I'm trying to think, it's probably. It's like a, probably an old critical video. Oh god, yeah. Because he used to play a lot of those games mm. that he probably played. Can't think of it off the top of my head, but mm. if you go like to watch any critical video from 2012, 2013, probably mm. find one of those. Mm. Uh, yeah, I feel like with indie horror games, anything indies, not as many boundaries. You can do what mm. you want. Like for example, Five Nights at Freddy's. Before then, the main style of horror was like dark rooms. Mm-hmm. You walk to the you walk to the scare. You walk to the horror. Slenderman. Slenderman. You or or you're being followed. You either watch it or you're being followed. Whereas with Five Nights at Freddy's, you can't sitting, move. You're you wait in. for that to come to you. Yeah. And it's over for you if you do because you can't do anything. You can only sit there and try to defend yourself. That game is almost 10 years old. Oh, I hate you for bringing that up. <laughs> stop, stop it. That Yo. game is almost... The Dark Knight is 14 years old. Oh, fuck! Stop! That's <laughs> so crazy. That Dark Knight Rises is 10 years old. I remember when that was a pre uh, sequel. When that, when that was a trilogy. That third movie. I, I didn't see it, but I remember when it came out. Inception is 12 years old. Yo. Yeah, I watched well, that a lot later. Yeah, but I mean, still like that's so. yeah. It's a sad world we live in. Jesus. Can't believe Ooh. the time's moving this fast. But yeah, I, I I like indie things like that. I do, yeah. And there's less like boundaries because like with corporations, they have like a a quota to follow. They got to get mm-hmm. things in a certain amount of at a certain date. So sometimes they got to rush through that's things. That's what probably happened they gotta, with like, the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. I guess the security breach. Like I didn't like it that much. It was. It didn't just, have an indie feel. It felt like a regular horror game because you actually moved around now. Yeah. So it, it kind of went to like a regular it horror game. It felt too cartoony too, and like yeah, the graphics. You can move around now. And security yeah, breach. Yeah, so it's, 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 a, it's a it's an open world game. Oh, cool. Not open world, but it's like uh, it's, yeah, it is it, open it's world. like something like Madison where you can move around the room. Open world's like GTA. Yeah. That's that, open world. Well, that, well, that is open world. You stay. It's the nothing changes in that game. Like all the rooms are staying the same. Okay, I guess that's where it's kind of yeah. like a my friendly neighborhood. Yeah, like Arkham pretty- City, basically. Yeah, that's I mean that's kind of open world too. Yeah. I guess yeah. So, um, but no, yeah. So indie horror games are a lot better than I mean the good ones are a lot better than like most average franchise horror games. Um, so mm. sorry for your love of Rev- Resident Evil Six or Five. Four, you mean? Oh, but didn't you like Resident Evil Six or like? I didn't mind it. It wasn't nearly as good as Five. It certainly wasn't as good as Four. Okay. Um, but now Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game of all time. And they're remaking it. It's just, I mean, but then again, that was a little bit of a different game because that was the first, I think, Resident Evil game to introduce that style. Action style. Of, action style where, like, it's not as much involved in horror, but it also had, like, that camera view. Unless Resident Evil 3 did that, I don't remember. I don't think it did. It, it might have. No, I think Resident Evil 3 did it first, but RE4 was more story and action based, and it's, I, I love everything about that game. And so. they're remaking it for PS4? PS5. Oh, PS5, sorry. So stupid. <sighs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, going we're stupid, on literally. Potify. Uh, what? Potify. <laughs> we're, we're on Bapple. We're on um, Spotify. Spotify. We're on, we're on Bamazon. Bamazon. We're on Boogle. 
Mm-hmm. Um, we're on Booga Booga Booga. Bandora. Um, we're on Bandora. We're, so we're on funny, Bandora's dog. box. We're so um, funny, dog. We're, we're on, so funny. We're ab- <laughs> By Heart Radio. That sounds kind of nice. By Heart Radio. Anyways, thank you for listening, watching. We're on all of those, including YouTube, um, Apple, Spotify, Pandora, Google, Amazon, YouTube, all of those. Um, but Miguel. Miguel, what are your final words? Cadillac Lounge got robbed of their ones. <laughs> <laughs>